Hello YouTubers, DEFAN3D coming at you here with the late model results on July 24th. I was going to try to make it out there, but um, a buddy of mine pulled out on me, so I wasn't able to go. But I am planning, but I am going to Elko tonight to make it up, so that is pretty sweet. So, got my Jason Schneider racing gear on, so it's pretty sweet. So, we'll, um, I'll jump right into it here for late model feature one. Chris Merritt, Cru Chris Merritt Cruiser, the big winner on last Saturday night in the three car. Brian Rollstad comes home second in the 13. Jacob Gady in the 72 car is third. And fourth is the 81 of Brian Sarakiski. And then fifth is the 50 car of Steve Anderson Jr. And then sixth is the 18 of Michael Ostick. Chad Wallen in the 52 car came home seventh. Eighth was the eight car of Billy Mohan. That's kind of cool. And uh, eight, eight, that's pretty sweet. And ninth was the 21 of Adam Benzik, not bad. And then 10th was the 29 of Andrew Schultz. So the 29 could really change it around here. 11th was the 32 of Jeremy Wolf. And, uh, and the 40 car was Michael Beamish in 12th. 13th was the 53 car of Jerry Duda. And then 14th was the 31 of Ryan Varner. And 15th was the 7 of Ridge Owen. And 16th was the 15 of Will McCulley. 17th was the 90 of Mike Gilliard. 18th was the 7 of Teddy Kashadi. 19th was the DNF. I'm not sure if he crashed out or what happened there to Grant Brown in the 14 car. And in 20th was the 11 of Buddy Crawford, and he got a DNF as well. And the same goes with the 20. First place card, the 06 of Adam Ratliff with a DNF. And Tommy Peterson did not make the show in the 99 car. Well, hopefully I'll see him tonight. But um, in feature two, late model winner was Andrew Benzik in the 21 car for, for race number two. So that's pretty sweet. And in second was Billy Mohan in the eight car. Third was the 72 of Jacob Gady. Not bad, and Jacob really turning his season around here. Kind of mid-season, getting close there, so he's really looking good. Chad Wallen in the 52 car in fourth. Top five for the 18 of Michael Ostick. Not bad. And in sixth was the 32 of Jeremy Wolf, and he must have had some speed or something, and they worked pretty good on that 32 car to make it run better, so that's really, really good. And seventh was the 81 of Brian Sirikeski. And 8th was the 13 of Brian Rolstad. 9th was the 40 of Michael Beamish. Top 10 for the 50 of Steve Anderson Jr. That 50 car really looking good this year. The 11th place finish, 31 of Ryan Varner. 12th was the 3 of Chris Merrick. 13th was the 14 of Grant Brown. Jury Dude in the 53 car, 14th. 15th was the 15 of Will McCauley. 16th place was the 7 of Ridge Owen. 17th was the 7 of Teddy Kashadi, not bad. 18th was the 90 of Mike Gilliard. And then 18, 19th position was the 29 of Andrew Schultz with a DNF. Ooh. So he had a good finish. And I'm not sure what happened there, but man, that's something. And Grant Brown, they worked on that car to make it run well. So, man, that's kind of a bummer for Andrew there. 20th place was the DNF for the 06 of Adam Rantliff. And did not start was the 11 of Buddy Crawford. So that uh, they must have had something pretty hard right there. So, man, I, I'm not sure what happened, but that, that 11 car, I think, might have hit a, hit a wall or hit another car. But, man, that's, that's something else. So now to take a look here at the current point standings going into tonight's race. And here we go for the full point schedule here. Jacob Gady, your point leader, with four with 548 points. And behind him is Chad Walden in the 52 car at 509. So 39 point difference there for the gap. And third is the 21 of Adam Benzik. Fourth was the 8 of Billy Mohan. Fifth was is the 3 of Chris Merrick, Cruiser. Sixth is the 13 of Brian Rolstad. Seventh is the 32 of Jeremy Wolf. 
Eighth was the 31, Ryan Brunner. Ninth was the 18, Michael Austick. And top 10 for Grant Brown. And then we got a DNF in the race feature one. He brought it back up to get a good finish in race number two. So that definitely helps you out to fall back on that second feature if you don't do well in the first one. So that's pretty good. And 11th is the 81 of Brian Sharkeski. 12th is the 29 of Andrew Schultz. 13th is the 50 car for Steve Anderson Jr. 14th, the 53 of Jared Duda. 15th, the 26 of Lawrence Berthum. 16th is the 15 of Will McCauley. 17th is the 7 of Teddy Cachati. 18th is the 42 of Ryan Camish. 19th is the 90 of Mike Gil Gilliard. And in 20th is the 06 of Adam Ratliff. 21st is the 19 of Michael Hager. 22nd is the 17 of Ridge Owen. 23rd is the 26 of Owen Giles. 24th is the 17 of John Lemke. 25th is the 40 Michael Beamish. 26th is the 99 of Tommy Peterson. 27th is the 17 of Jeremy's, uh, Jerry Zimmerke. 28th is the 11 of Buddy Crawford. 29th is the 75 of Joel Thiessen. 30th is the 23 of Steve Schultz. 31st is the 14 of... Devin Stalker, 32nd is the 40 of the 14 of Cody King, 33rd is the 54 of Dylan Moore, 34th is Colin Stalker, and the uh, I'm, I think uh, I don't have a number for him, but uh, pretty interesting there. But then in 35th is the uh, 52 of Conrad Jorgensen. Who ran Shane Wallen's backup car. So, yep, and he only did that for just a one off deal. So, pretty interesting there to see the uh, 30, um, 35 car lineup. So, it's pretty, should be pretty interesting to see what all happens tonight. And it's going to be a pretty good show. So, I'm hoping that um, everything works well for some of these guys. And I'm kind of rooting for, uh, maybe, I'm kind of, I'm pulling for Jeremy Wolf. I talked to him last night. I have a cell phone number and I asked him, I said, boy, your car is running really good. Did you do anything to like change it up or nothing? And he says, the big change, we didn't do anything to like chassis wise or nothing. And they just got a crate engine in it. So that's a brand new engine inside that car. And the crates are the thing you got to have for Elko. So it's pretty, that's pretty killer. So it's a new engine for that car. So it's pretty sweet. And Looking forward to it, and uh, it's going to be a fun time. So we'll, uh, I'll get back with you guys later, and uh, it's going to be fun in Elko tonight.